Hi, I'm Adi, and today I'm going to be having a look at this third-party upgrade kit for um, Transformers Masterpiece Datsun cars. This is the Guilty G07 Punishment Missile Launcher Kit. Uh, it's pretty good. It goes for about $30. Uh, let's get it open and have a look. Inside we get a foam inlaid tray with everything nice and securely laid out. And it looks like such a fantastic collector's piece. Um, it's only cheap rockets made of plastic. Uh, it seems a little bit of overkill. I wish some of my other figures were packed so nicely. But still, I appreciate the thought. Maybe it's cheaper to produce foam than plastic bubbles. I don't know. But anyway, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight missile launchers in various shapes. And we get two of these antenna units to fit over the head. Here's the antennas on Prowl. Now, you have to forgive me. This is my KO Prowl. I've put the, the real one away. Um, it doesn't seem to fit exactly right on KO Prowl. It, maybe the neck is a little bit lower down or something because it conflicts with these panels at the side of the car. I just show it on Prowl because I think it's meant for Prowl, but I'm going to go and put it on an official figure now. Now, here it is on Streak. This is the real deal Streak. And that's a very interesting thing, actually, because... It fits exactly on the official toy. So I hadn't noticed before, but the KO versions of these guys have a neck which is just a fraction shorter. It's, it's even imperceptible. I wouldn't have noticed it. But this has been uh, machined to an exact tolerance where it it is in contact with the panel at the side here. So two things. First, it won't fit on KOs. But the second thing is I'm a little bit reluctant to use it because it's in contact with the paint and I think that if I keep using it, it's going to end up scratching the paint. So after this video, I'm going to take a file or clippers, something like that, to the bottom edge of this plastic and just clip it off because I don't want my beautiful glossy paint here getting scratched off by this upgrade kit. If you've seen my previous video of KO Streak, you would have seen me use this rocket launcher, which came for free with the KO. I don't know what this is based off, but um, in this Guilty set, we get this thing, which it seems to me the base is almost exactly the same. Now, it's not identical, um, but it, it looks like they've really tried to get it the same. But you can see up here the the sizes of some of these rectangles are a little bit different. So it is not the same tooling, but it looks very similar. Uh, on the missile, though, it is definitely a different shape, much longer. To clip it on, all you do is pop it in here, and it just kind of snaps into place. Now, I've got to say, these Guilty ones are made much better than the one that came with the KO. This KO version, if I focus on it, you can see that a little bit of pulling splits it apart. There's no glue, or if there is, it is a very weak glue. So after you snap these things on, they tend to split. Um, the Guilty version, it has a seam line in there if you can see it, but uh, there is glue. You can't see it from the upside, but from the downside, you can see a little bit of glue residue. So... It's, it's a bit more durable. There we go. That's not going in. The side's a little bit stiff. It doesn't want to do it. I think the trick is you've got to get the whole cylinder up there and just a little bit of rectangle sticking out. Like that. There we go. So that's awesome. Sorry, it's totally out of focus. That really looks awesome. It's very shiny and they're long. I think I like them long better. They stick on really well. And if you look at the top here, they're not splitting at all. So these are, are perfect. The only way you could make these better is if the rockets came out. But um, that's not really important to me. I don't play with my figures much. I just like looking at them. And I think that if it went in and out, it would interfere with the the little bit that snaps on on the inside. We also get this short version with a black base. The base seems to be the same, just colored black. The silver part seems to be the same as with the KO that I just showed. So I don't know what's going on there, but um, anyway, short black version. As well as that, we get the black base with the long silver version. So this silver part is the same as the silver part on the red base. And we also get a white version, it's all white, and I think it's the same mold. 
So the chrome one looks a little bit more rounded. It's probably got to do with the chrome, but I think the white one is the same mold on the rocket. It's just uh, not chromed up. So I, I, I do mention that it's not just three. You get um, two of this, two of this, two of this, and two of the red ones, as well as two of the earpiece. So quite a lot of weapons that we can use there. My final thoughts on these rockets. Um, these are good. So they're very simple, but for what you get at $30, it's pretty good value, I think. If you've got no other way to get missile launchers, this is an excellent way to do it because you get so many in one pack. Um, if you've got some of the, I think they're Amazon exclusives or the KOs, you may not feel compelled to buy them because they're, they're not that much better than the, the KOs. So um, $30 in that case is probably quite a lot. But as I said, when I bought these, I didn't have any, and I thought this was the only way I'm going to get them. So either way, I'm pretty happy. I've got plenty of these Masterpiece cars, so I can use them all at least. This has been a video review for Guilty G07 Punishment Missile Launcher Set for the Masterpiece Datsun Cars. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, these do fit onto smokescreen, even though they don't look right. Anyway, I'm Adian. Thank you for watching.